Secularism certainly can be embraced by a democratic majority, so secularism and democracy can go hand in hand, because sometimes they don't, because when there's a you know, yearning for a religious state by the majority of the population, democracy end up being you know, uh, eroding secularism. That's a, that's a dilemma all across the Middle East. But I think the solution to that is to make the majority, to, the, the conservative majority in many, most cases, understand why secularism is good for themselves, why secularism, secularism is even good for religion itself. Because dominating the state is actually not helpful to religion. It creates hypocrisy, it creates resentment against religion, it creates other problems. So, and I think now people uh, in the region are learning that by trial, learning that by experience. So uh, that's why there is now a great movement in Iran actually that goes against theocracy because they're fed up with it and they want a secular state because they've seen that the alternative theocracy is really bad, bad for themselves and bad for even Islam itself.